Breaking news. Yeah, the E-team is breaking news this morning. Digging into a three-year-old cold case of a Cleveland Clinic employee who was shot and killed on his way to work. Stephen Halton's family tells us a tipster came forward earlier this year with information that could be crucial to breaking this case. But they're telling the E-team's Megan Hickey that investigators failed to follow through. Stephen Halton's family tells me they feel like their case is just another number and important information might be slipping away. It's babies. They got to grow up without their daddy. Stephen Halton was a technician at the Cleveland Clinic, called in the middle of the night for a surgery, shot and killed while waiting for the bus. It's part of Stephen. This was him. He went everywhere with the book back. For up. years, the family waited for a lead. Then in January, they were contacted by a tipster who met with them in person and revealed information about the case that had never been released to the public. The things that they were saying um, make sense makes sense. The family contacted police immediately, excited that this information could lead to a break. But seven months later, the system is not working at all. The tipster said he is still waiting to give an official statement. If murder is not a high priority case, then what is? A detective assigned to the case declined to comment to News 5. What are you doing now? A police spokesperson told me that the tipster's information would be forwarded to homicide detectives. But Halton's family feels like their case has been all but forgotten. Make a phone call, connect, talk. We even offered to bring them to you. And we've been waiting for you to get back to us to say when. And they worry that as the years pass, they are getting farther and farther away from justice. A Cleveland police spokesman did not provide a statement on the status of the investigation. For the E-Team in Cleveland, I'm Megan Hickey.